Now is the time when we get to meet the 2013 Women of Innovation finalists. We're going to introduce all of those except those in the Youth Innovation and Leadership category who will be introduced after dinner. So as each name is called, please applaud. And just don't hold back. <laughs> Beth would want me to put in a plug for these, so please <laughs> use them. Every finalist here is a star. <laughs> and to the finalists, please stand when your name is called. And we will be reading brief one-sentence introductions of these women. There's more information about them in your programs. Nancy, would you like to begin? Oh, sure. We'll go, we'll go back. Uh, we'll, we'll start with uh, Lily. Right. Do you want to start Thank with Thank you. <laughs> Our first finalist is Lily Aramli, a biology teacher at Greater Hartford Academy of Math and Science, an academy of aerospace and engineering. Lily has developed at her high school an extensive research program that allows students to design and conduct STEM research projects. Let's hear it for Lily. Let's hear it for Lily. Our next finalist, Catherine Ayers, Director of Research, Proton Onsite. Kathy is responsible for developing and executing Proton's research and development strategy in new materials and has been awarded numerous government research grants. Our next finalist is Cynthia Barnett, who's the program founder at Saturday Academy. Cynthia is founder of Saturday Academy, a scientific and educational enrichment program designed to create an interest in science and technology. Congratulations, Cynthia. Please join me in congratulating Lisa Braden Harder, Chief Executive Officer, Appen Butler Hill Incorporated. Lisa is the CEO and founder of Appen Butler Hill, Whereas a seasoned entrepreneur, she accelerates technology to global markets. And a round of applause for Megan Brunaw, who is Chief Marketing Officer and co-founder of Combat to Career. <laughs> Megan, a military veteran, is the co-founder of Combat to Career, which is a technology startup developed to assist veterans in pursuing higher education. Please join me in congr congratulating our next finalist, Therese Campbell, Staff Scientist, United Technologies Research Center. <laughs> Therese is a Staff Scientist at United Technologies Research Center who has published and patented work in catalysis and fire suppression materials. Our next finalist is Kate Donahue, who is the president of Hamford Research. Kate's company is a specialty chemical manufacturer serving Fortune 500 companies in the electronics, dental, personal care, and industrial adhesives markets. Let's have a round of applause for Kate. Congratulations go to Alicia Echevarria, graduate student, University of Connecticut. Alicia, who is pursuing a Master's of Science in Civil Engineering, is studying the multi-hazard resilience of conventional and innovative reinforced concrete bridge columns. Congratulations. And I'm glad someone is doing that. I feel a lot safer. <laughs> <laughs> they get more complicated. <laughs> and now I'd like to congratulate Alicia Evanitsky. UAE Chief Engineer, Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation. Alicia is a lead international Black Hawk program engineer at Sikorsky. Congratulations, Alicia. Congratulations to Estelle Fanucci, Science Department Chair, Amity Regional High School. Estelle has introduced STEM-based courses including science research and physics for engineering, studies of subtropical ecosystems, and science mentorship. Congratulations, Estelle.
please join me in congratulating Lynn Frega, General Manager, Customer Services Operations at Pratt & Whitney. Lynn has transformed Pratt's 24-hour customer help desk into a world-class global operations center, modernizing the customer portal and replacing the technical communication IT systems. Congratulations, Lynn. Uh, congratulations to our next finalist, Sonia Glavosky, Control Systems Group Leader, United Technologies Research Center. Sonia is an internationally recognized expert in the field of control systems for commercial and defense applications. Our next finalist is Angela Grieve, Project Manager at Pratt & Whitney. Angie is the chair for the Career Development and Mentoring Team on the Pratt & Whitney Women's Council, Vice President of her local Women at Work group, and a Vernon Greenway volunteer. Congratulations, Angela. Congratulations goes to Mary Ellen Jones, VP Commercial Engines, Customer Support, and, uh, and America Sales, Pratt & Whitney. Mary Ellen chairs the Connecticut Airport Authority, which sets direction and strategy for Bradley International Airport and five general aviation airports in the state. Mary Ellen is traveling and could not be with us tonight, but let's give her a round of applause. I also feel safer knowing Mary Ellen is at the I time. know, exactly. Our next finalist is Maria Kylik, Manager, Systems Engineering, United Technologies Aerospace Systems. Maria leads a team of engineers developing software specifications and system analyses for complex, space-qualified, environmental control and life support systems. Congratulations, Maria. So did we tell you we have this contest to see who cheers the loudest? So when your, your, your colleague's name is mentioned, we want, we want to hear that cheering. <laughs> Congratulations goes to our next finalist, Deborah Kennedy. CEO, Nutrition Options, LLC. Deborah is the founder of Build Healthy Kids, which is currently in over 240 schools nationwide and is an easy way for families to understand, organize, and improve diet and activity levels for kids. Congratulations, Deborah. Our next finalist is Yvonne Kielhorn, founder and CEO of Y Science LLC. Yvonne's company provides customized inquiry-based learning systems that empower educators to teach STEM effectively. Congratulations, Yvonne. Congratulations. Please join me in congratulating Carrie Kuzichuk, Analyst, Engineering Services, Pratt & Whitney. Carrie is a member of several diversity initiatives at UTC, she also donates her artwork to nonprofit organizations. Congratulations, Karen. Our next finalist is Jamie Machasek, PhD candidate, University of Connecticut. Jamie is a fourth year PhD candidate studying the signaling and adhesive mechanisms of red blood cells from patients with sickle cell disease. Congratulations, Jamie. Congratulations to Stacy Malecki, Design Integration Manager, Pratt & Whitney. Stacy is responsible for configuration management and control of all Pratt & Whitney products and processes. Congratulations, Stacy. Please join me in congratulating Radenka Marek, Connecticut Clean Energy Fund Professor of Sustainable Energy at the University of Connecticut. Radenka's most significant contribution is the development of a new manufacturing process for fuel cells that could make highly efficient fuel cell powered vehicles a commercially viable option. Congratulations, Radenka. Applause 
Please join me in congratulating Susan Murata, she hates me for this, Executive <laughs> Director, Quality and Records Management Unit, Beringer Ingelheim Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. Yay! <laughs> Sue is responsible for directing compliance functions and ensuring a vision of outstanding quality, compliance, and ethics. Congratulations, Sue. Our next finalist is Elizabeth Mercier, Vice President, Personal Lines Travelers. Elizabeth is responsible for investment prior prioritization, governance, portfolio controls, and the linking of critical business initiatives to the strategic roadmap. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Congratulations to Pais Mikael, PhD candidate, University of Connecticut. Pais is focused on developing mechanically superior 3D scaffolds for segmental bone defects <laughs> and on developing constructs for bone repair. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, Pais. And congratulations to Sandra Muller, President, Connecticut Science and Engineering Fair. Sandra has served 25 years on the Connecticut Science Fair Board, chairing scientific reviews, securing annual grants, and overseeing 700 student participants from 120 schools. Thank you, Sandra. Congratulations to our next finalist, Phyllis Pierce, CEO and founder, My Luck Club. A seasoned entrepreneur, Phyllis's new patient pending crowdsourcing website provides a monetary and social incentive for people to help one another find what they need, including jobs, homes, and services. Congratulations, Phyllis. Our next finalist is Teresa Peloras, CEO, Technical Consulting and Research Incorporated. Teresa is also the founder of Best We Can Be, which helps high school students prepare for college and careers by helping them interact with mentors and experts, providing them a variety of hands-on experiences. Congratulations, Congratulations, Teresa. Congratulations to Donna Ray, Manager, General Engineering, United Technologies Aerospace Systems. Donna leads a cross-functional team designing, developing, and delivering complex space qualified environmental controls and life support systems for NASA's Next Space Ex Exploration Vehicle, Orion. Congratulations. And congratulations to Amalia Rusu, Assistant Professor of Software Engineering at Fairfield University. Amalia's academic activities include three years of leading the partnership with GE on the Joint Outreach Program for the Connecticut High School Computer Science Contest. Congratulations, Amalia. Congratulations to Kremina Simitkieva, affectionately known as Kimi. She's our Director of Pipeline Marketing at Beringer Ingelheim Pharmaceuticals, Inc. Born and raised in communist Bulgaria, Kemi came to the U.S. as an internal medicine doctor who aspired to impact global health through her work at the World Health Organization. Congratulations, Kemi. Our next finalist is Carolyn Slayman, Deputy Dean, Academic and Scientific Affairs at Yale Medical School. Carolyn is the Sterling Professor of Genetics and of Cellular and Molecular Physiology, while also serving as Deputy Dean for Academic and Scientific Affairs. Carolyn could not be with us tonight. Thank but you we for thank a her round anyway. Applause. Congratulations go to Lindsay So. PhD candidate, Yale University. Lindsay is a doctoral student in environmental engineering at Yale University who is focused on her dissertation research on biodiesel production from algae. Congratulations, Lindsay. And
and congratulations go to Joan Stites, molecular biologist and Sterling Professor of Molecular Biophysics and Biochemistry at Yale University. Joan is one of the leading scientists in her field and is best known for her pioneering work in RNA. Unfortunately, Joan could not be with us tonight either, but we congratulate her as well. Congratulations. Our next finalist, and please join me in congratulating Renee Sutherland, design engineer, Pratt & Whitney. Renee has as her goal to increase the number of black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. Congratulations, Renee. And congratulations to Maria Tarsinska, architect, MS3 Corporation Architects. Maria is a registered architect in Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey, and is certified by the U.S. Green Building Council. Congratulations, Maria. Congratulations go out to Angela Thrum, senior biomedical engineer, Covidian. Angela is a staff development scientist at Covidian where she leads a team of biologists and chemists in the evaluation of biomaterials. Congratulations, Angela. Our next finalist is Julie Trowbridge Dillman. <laughs> they can't even wait until I get through her bio. <laughs> Senior VP, Enterprise Business Intelligence at The Travelers. Julie is accountable for the digital strategies and capabilities across Travelers Insurance. Congratulations, Julie. Congratulations go out to Amanda Van Wagner, Director of Client Services, Prometheus Research, LLC. Amanda joined Prometheus Research in 2008 as a junior analyst and today manages a team of business analysts. Congratulations, Amanda. And congratulations go to Jody Vecchiarelli, Group Leader, Physical Sciences Department, United Technologies Research Center. Jody's responsibility is to lead the group that provides technical expertise across UTC in the area of measurement, science advancement, and materials characterization. Congratulations, Jody. Congratulations to our next finalist, Carol Wallace, President and CEO, Cooper Atkins Corporation. Carol leads Cooper Atkins Corporation, a leading manufacturer of temperature, time, and humidity instruments for global food service, healthcare, HVAC, industrial, and OEM markets. Congratulations, Carol. Our next finalist is Xiaowei Wang, PhD candidate at the University of Connecticut. Xiaowei's research interests lie in the areas of underwater acoustic communications and networking. Congratulations, Xiaowei. Congratulations. Congratulations go out to Tamika White, Manager, Global Supply Chain, Pratt & Whitney. Tamika currently leads global project management efforts for large resource-based projects along with the change management process for work transitions. Congratulations, Tamika. Please join me in congratulating Yvonne Will, Associate Research Fellow at Pfizer. Yvonne joined Pfizer in 2003, where she pioneered many of the mitochondrial toxicity assays, new technologies, and engaged in colleague career development. Congratulations, Yvonne. Congratulations go to Zhumin Shia. PhD candidate, University of Connecticut. Zhumin is conducting research to help pave the way for faster, longer lasting, and more successful bone and tissue regeneration and repair. Congratulations, Zhumin. And last but certainly not least, we congratulate Julie Zimmerman, 
Associate Professor of Green Engineering at Yale University. <laughs> Julie's research interests focus broadly on green chemistry and engineering and on green downstream processing and life cycle assessment of algae biomas for fuels and value added chemicals. Please join us in congratulating each and every one of our finalists. <laughs>